Hey guys, Eric with East Texas Homestead, and guys, it's been a long time since I've done any maintenance or uh, anything up here on the top swell, the fruit trees and whatnot, and I kind of let it go, and I'm having issues. So, I'm gonna kind of show you what's going on. The one thing that I have done is actually I came back through here and I mowed all through here so I can actually get through. It was Man, it was a mess. See my compost pile going right here. This has actually got some great stuff in it. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Uh, you can see right here, we've got our plum tree. Uh, unfortunately, I, I kind of wanted to shape those a little better, but I haven't really done much with it. Mulberries, here's the really disappointing part. Man, I've got some sort of fungus action going on, or aphids, or something right here. I don't know what it is. I really don't know what's going on. Somebody wants to help me out there, let me know. Uh, as I'm looking at it, it, it kind of does look, I don't know what that is. Let me try to get a better, I don't know, help me out guys, what's going on? So that's kind of attacking my tree there. Uh, crazy enough, I've got more mulberries coming on. I, I guess they completely stopped through the middle of summer and they're back at it. Um, but here's what I'm going to be dealing with right now. I've got these pesky, I've always called them bagworms. I don't know what other people call them. I don't know what they're really, really called. But they are tearing up this mulberry here. So, oh, the other interesting thing is this isn't the, <laughs> all of this up here. This is growth from this year. The original mulberry tree is back here. So yeah, like I said, I have really neglected this thing. So here's how I treat, how my daddy taught me to treat these guys. Good old torch. And it just rained, so I'm not worried about catching anything on fire except for these guys. I'm sure Peter's gonna hold this. Okay. Try not to really harm the tree itself, but really just kill these these sorry worms. They will destroy this tree. Tell you what, I wish I had some chickens or something. They would like this. This is a delicious, delicious treat for some chickens. I'll probably have some, some birds come by and tear that stuff up though. Come around here. Some more over in this area. This is actually blackberry that they're attacking here. Well, y'all, that's pretty much it. It was a really short one, and uh, I got really distracted going around and frying these little worms. Uh, in addition, I also found that the uh, the thistles that I've got that have all those uh, stink bugs, which I forget the uh, the exact uh, stink bug it is. I found that if I go around and just start frying the heads of the thistles, I take out an entire colony of those stink bugs. So, pretty cool, uh, but I got distracted doing it. Anyhow, guys. Uh, Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.